You guys would look a whole lot happier if you just had a bunch of fake eyes glued onto your real eyes. Is this animal abuse? I feel like it's not animal abuse. What's up guys and welcome back to Slime Rancher. So in between episodes, I have been very busy. I've been playing this game as much as I physically can to try to get the ranch up and running. You guys will remember when we were out in the glass desert, the ranch kind of fell apart when we were away. So I went and got all of the food that we need, all of the slimes, everything is up and running. We're earning money again, but it's not nearly enough. We need 1.3 million dollars to finish off the Z Club rewards. I looked it up. I have 142,000 after ranching for an entire week. No, 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 don't eat my prickle pears. Wait, you guys don't eat prickle pears. Okay, good, we need that. Because the prickle pears are gonna be used today to blow up the Dervish Gordo. I wanna to return to the Dervish Gordo to see if we can find the secret of the glass desert. And then all of the ranching and stuff again, I'll keep doing that in between episodes. I've also been building a lot of these things. We don't really need the resources for slime science, even though I'll take them. But I've been mainly doing it because if you build a hundred of them, then you unlock the Mark III safe cracker, which I now have. So we can open up all of the capsules and all of the treasures that we've been seeing all over the map for the last month. Overall, the ranch hasn't really changed all that much. I got rid of phosphor slimes because they're not really used for anything, and I found a place for all of our new slimes who are putting out a whole ton of money and their favorite food. Oh, I also built um, an incinerator for our little fire slimes. They're really interesting. If you take food and you toss it in the incinerator, you'll see that the ash goes up. And it's because they both need the ash to survive because they'll, if they're on regular ground, they'll just explode. Uh, no, no, what did I just say? No, that's not, this isn't a way to kill yourselves. Oh crap, I can't pick up stuff. We're all jelly, no, no, don't kill yourselves. What's wrong with you idiots? I don't know why they want to do that. Maybe they're not happy with being captive. Just poop money for me. But like I was saying, not only do they need it to survive, but they eat it. And then that's what they use to actually make plort. So they're kind of a mix of a puddle slime and a regular slime. They require food, but they have a different corral. Kind of interesting. The plorts are worth a ton as well, which is great. So I'm going to continue to burn food away for them. We can put all this stuff in here. And then I guess we'll go back to the glass desert. I don't know if there's anything else that's really changed in between episodes. Oh, there's a new area. That's right. I should definitely show that to you guys. I was going to show it to you in a video live. And I started to record it and the video just kind of fell apart. I didn't really do anything. I, I did a lot of this ranching. And then when I was editing it, I kind of realized that the ranching part of this game is kind of boring to watch. <laughs> it's just running around, feeding slimes, planting more food, and then selling their plorts over and over and over again. So I'm probably going to keep most of that to in between episodes. But this is the new area. This is the docks. So it's kind of like any other expansion. I think I bought it for $5,000 or whatever it was. And you go down here and you get four new areas to build on which is pretty sweet. I have a lot of the mosaic slimes around because their plorts are worth a ton of money and they're really easy to feed with the silver parsnips. But other than that, my puddle slimes are also making uh, plorts as well. I kind of split them up into multiple puddles. I know people have been upset with me for the longest time that I kind of overcrowded my puddle. I never really needed the plorts. Now I do because I have a plan for slime science that requires plorts. Again, we'll get to that in another video. Now, before we head out, I think I need to buy the Treasure Cracker Mark III. Okay, that's what I thought. So now that we have that, we can take my teleporter to the Glass Desert, which is just awesome. I love the teleporters, even though I placed this one in kind of a crappy position. It's a little difficult to get up here every time. But now that we have that, we can find treasures and we can find that Gordo wherever it was. It's a bit of a tricky position and whatever else we're missing. Like we're missing a whole bunch of statues and other stuff around here. Oh, here we go. Okay. Our first Mark III treasure. I have no idea what could be inside of this. Something cool. A towering glass sculpture. Okay. So kind of what you would expect from any random capsule. All right. I think we're on the right path. I definitely remember the giant slime face, and then there were a lot of fire, to yeah, there we go. I remember fire tornadoes and running around a whole lot. So now to get up there, oh right, I brought tangle plorts as well. I think that was the first of them that I've found, but that works for me. So now I should be able to hardcore parkour my way up on these walls to try to get over to him. Now the question is, what's inside of or underneath you? Because, yeah, there shouldn't be a teleporter. Oh, it's a key. 
Right? I think that's a key. Why can't I? Yeah, we got another key. All right, that's really weird because I haven't seen any more doors. All right, I'll take it though. So that's one down. Oh, that's a rare thing, I'm taking that. We still have a bit of an issue though because he wasn't actually blocking anything. So that did nothing to help us with our secrets. I don't think I've been over here though. This looks new. Okay, this is an elevation that I, oh, okay. Here's the fountain that we're looking for. So I have one of the three activated. Okay, well it's good to know where this is. Maybe there's a statue around this somewhere as well. I think that's, yeah, there we go. I was gonna say, we haven't checked a lot of these areas that are incredibly difficult to fly to. So I'm gonna have to start roaming around on top of all of these and look around. God, this place is massive. <laughs> they need to, oh, there's the last one. Wait, I've walked past this thing like 10 times. Yeah, okay, so now that fountain is activated and uh, we can get some of these flowers. So there's one right there, maybe two, and then there's another one over there. I wanna try to get as many as I can because getting up here is really difficult. <laughs> so ancient water, go, 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 go. Okay, I'm pretty sure there's, there's one over here somewhere. Yes, okay, yeah, there's one right there and then there's one behind me. I should be able to get at least two. I'm not even gonna wait and watch. No, 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 okay, that works. We lost a plort, but it's a worthy sacrifice. 14 seconds. Come on, come on, come on, come on. There's gotta be another one around here somewhere. Over here, maybe? Yup, there's one. Got it. Any more? Five seconds? I think I'm doing a loop. Okay, we got two. <laughs> good, good. Oh, I feel good about that. So while the world falls apart around me in sheer chaos, I'm just gonna hug this giant flower and think about what we need to do next. I don't think we found all of the dervish ones, did we? We're still missing one dervish statue, so I have a dervish plort. I really hope I'm not mistaken. I hate it when I forget things from past episodes, but the entire game just kind of meshes together. So I'm just gonna explore a little bit more and try to find that last one. Then we should be done in the glass desert. I should have everything. I haven't seen any flowers around that I haven't opened yet. This is a bad idea. This is a bad idea. Why am I trying to be a brave explorer? Okay, I see a treasure that we haven't gotten yet. Oh, we're good. <laughs> what does this have? It had better not be just stupid materials. A uh, berry slime lamp. A lot of people told me, okay, there's a cocoa slime lamp. There has to be a cocoa slime. That's not how it works. There are slime lamps for slimes that don't exist. Maybe they'll be put into the game eventually. I have no idea, but either way, there is no berry slime. We have all the slimes. We have seen everything there is to see, except for whatever is going on in this desert. I could have sworn that this was where... Right? Isn't it around here that I... Uh, yeah, I activated you. Hmm, am I not missing one or am I? Let's check. Nope, dry as a fart. So we only have two of three activated. I'm still looking for that third one. Hmm. It, it has to... Like, I really want to get it this episode. That was the second one there. The first one was down in that thing. So there's got to be another one nearby because they're never super far away. And if I can get it, then we should have everything. There's no more new types of slimes for me to activate statues of. I'd be willing to bet that it's on top of one of these cliffs. So maybe if I get like a higher viewpoint, like I said earlier, that's the biggest thing in this game is I'm not spending a whole lot of time in areas that I wouldn't, I wouldn't normally go to. We found it. Yes, finally. <laughs> okay, I don't even care if I go up. Uh, oh no, there's a treasure, treasure. I can't open that treasure though, can I? Yes, I can. I got the thing. Okay, so I do need to get up there. I didn't choose the hardcore parkour life. Oh, the hardcore parkour life chose me. No, no, yes. Okay, what have you got for me? It would be good. You were a lot of uh, trouble. A thundering glass sculpture, a beautiful glass sculpture from the glass desert that resembles a lightning strike. Okay, well, you know what? We got it. So whatever, now I can uh, suck up all this and switch to the water because I actually remember this time. And then you are mine. That's one. I think there's another one not too far away maybe. I'm just gonna run with this water while I have it. Screw it, it's gotta be around here somewhere, right? Anybody? Yep, yep, we got you too. Got your back, flower. Anybody else? Can I get a triple? Uh, that might be death. Yeah, that's death. Let's just slow down. I'm 99% sure that that's the last flower. If we get that one, 
the entire glass desert is finished which I didn't think we were gonna do this episode and it looks like they're doing a lot more than they usually would this one the area is gigantic and it filled up all of these pools which we didn't even know were pools at the time so if I can get over here oh yeah this should be an okay spoke a little too soon yeah th yeah no we're good this should be an easy run Come to me, final flower. I want to finish off the glass desert. Are we good? I think that was it. I don't know if... if there's no cutscenes in the game or anything like that. Did I do good? It's like I said, I was 99% sure that that was the last flower. There's the 1%. Okay, no, that's fine. We can get to that one too. I'm finishing this this episode. Finding it again might be a little bit more difficult than I envisioned because I just kind of ran through here, maybe? Where was it again? Was it- yeah, here it is. Okay. Lot, lots of time left. Done? Double done? Triple done? Again, I don't know what I'm expecting to happen. Maybe some kind of achievement? That was definitely not it either, was it? What's happening? Is it just a solar flare? Since when do they happen at night? Very strange. I don't know what that's all about, but I, like I said, I don't think I'm done. I feel like I would be doing this for some reason. Also, you guys have been telling me in the comments that I should check out the rest of the world because apparently there are new Gordos and maybe a door for this key. I'll get to that. Uh, maybe I'll get to that next episode right now. I'm pretty determined to finish this off. Well, I've looked down through all of the achievements and there is no reward for actually finishing the glass desert. There is renewal where you can start bringing life back to the glass desert. And for some reason that's silver, but it has a check mark. So I've already completed it. And then I looked online and it doesn't say anything about actually getting some kind of reward or achievement or things changing. I don't know, maybe there is no mystery here. Maybe it's not in the game yet. Maybe I have completed it, maybe I haven't. I have no idea. I've been roaming around for like an hour in this place, and I swear I have found everything there is to find. So maybe we'll just go back to the ranch and see if there's anything to do there? I should probably point out that it feels like they've changed the drop rate of the really rare resources. Like, do you guys remember when I spent so much time looking for royal jelly and strange diamonds and stuff like that? This episode, I've had multiples of each, and I'm not even trying, right? These guys are all done, so let's see what they have in store. More of that stuff. Okay, I don't need parsnips, I don't think. No, we got lots of parsnips, so we'll get rid of all that. Put the dervish plort over there somewhere. We can gather up all this stuff, and then they're done. I don't need them, to be perfectly honest. Like I said, I only built them because I really wanted to get that safe cracker. And my initial idea for this episode was going to be to go busting a bunch of safes, but we got a whole lot done instead. See what I mean? Two more things of royal jelly. I had two earlier, so we have, I don't know, half a dozen or so now. There's something that I really want to build. We've been avoiding this for a long time because I keep forgetting googly eyes. I need more googly eyes in my life because now we have the royal jelly to do it. So we're going to fabricate googly eyes and I don't really know how to use them. Shoot them on the slimes to totally up their game. Okay. How do I shoot googly eyes? Is it something that I need to lay down? Googly fashion pod. Did that do anything? I'm so- oh yeah, look at that, okay. Oh, and it's, it's an infinite source of googly eyes. Oh my god, I thought I was a rich man, but I really never had any idea. Can I give you guys googly eyes? Uh, I can't tell. Googly eyes, oh my god. <laughs> googly eyes for everybody. Oh, my entire ranch needs googly eyes like right now. That is fantastic. You guys also need food, huh? Okay, here, look, I'll, I'll give you a little bit of ash so that we can see your googly eyes better. <laughs> Fantastic. You guys would look a whole lot happier if you just had a bunch of fake eyes glued onto your real eyes. Is this animal abuse? I feel like it's not animal abuse. But I think that's gonna be it for this episode of Slime Rancher, guys. And please let me know if I finished the glass desert or not, because I feel like I did. I found all of the statues, activated all of the fountains, watered all of the flowers, popped all of the gordos. I don't know what I'm missing, but nothing really happened. So it feels like there's nothing more for me to do. And that being said, there is lots more to do in the game. I do want to continue with the Z Club rewards and finishing off the ranch and doing more slime science and stuff like that. So as long as people keep watching, I'll try to keep up with it. 
Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.